Hi, my name is Khalid Tunsi. I'm a lead software engineer, and um, today I'm going to talk to you about feature management with Azure App Configuration. So Azure App Configuration is, provides a service to centrally manage application settings and features. And usually we use Azure App Configuration to centralize configuration management or to dynamically change application settings and control feature availability in real, uh, real time. Actually, I'm gonna, in today's demo, I'm gonna show you how you can enable a feature in real time using Azure App Configuration. So we're gonna start by creating a new Azure App Configuration resource in the Azure portal, then we're going to edit a, a simple ASP.NET Core web app to consume the Azure app configuration and the, to show and hide a feature using the Azure app configuration. So in the Azure portal here, uh, we're going to create a new resource in app configuration resource. So we're going to search for app configuration in the marketplace here. We click create. For the resource name, let's say take the app config. Okay, this name is available here. I'm going to select my pay as you go subscription. And as a resource group, I'm going to create a new one. Say take the RG. I'm going to select Central Canada. And for the pricing tier, I'm going to leave it or standard for, or I can select the free one. Yes. My resource is my resource deployment here is in progress, so we're gonna get back once it's created. So my app configuration resource is created. I'm here in the uh, main view of the resource, so I can see my resource group name here, my location. Uh, it gives me an endpoint to invoke my app configuration resource via a REST API. So I'm gonna hit in the left side bar here, I'm gonna click feature manager. And I'm gonna create a new, let's say feature. My feature here, I I need the key for my feature. So I'm gonna just say beta. It's gonna be a beta feature. As a label, for example, I'm gonna say beta feature. And I don't need any description here. I'm gonna apply. By default, my feature, feature state is on off. Uh, for now, that's it in the Azure portal. We might, we're gonna get back to the Azure portal to get the access key uh, because we're gonna need it to connect, to connect our app to Azure app configuration.
Okay, so for this demo, I'm gonna create a new ASP.NET Core uh, app. I'm gonna hit File New Project. I'm gonna select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Hit Next. I'm gonna name my project. Let's say take the day. App configuration, for example, hit create. Okay, this is my already open project, so I'm on a, I won't save. So I'm gonna select ASP.NET Core 3.1. Um, and the web application model view controller template. Hit create. I'm gonna just run my app to see what uh, we can we should get by default. The app is opening in a my Chrome browser here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a new menu here, call it beta, and I'm going to try to hide and show this menu or this new feature via Azure Azure app configuration. I'm gonna close my app and I'm gonna start by adding a couple of NuGet packages. So the first one is the Microsoft dot feature management management don't net core. I'm gonna install the, la the latest version. might take a while to restore the packages. And the second NuGet package is, is Microsoft.Azure.App configuration. And I'm going to select the latest stable version. So now my NuGet packages are installed. I'm gonna start editing the create web host builder in the program.cs class. So I'm gonna I'm 
gonna start updating the class to use the app configuration. I'm gonna get my settings here and now I'm gonna add Azure app configuration. I need to configure I need to configure it so it connects to Azure App Configuration. I have a little typo in here. So to connect, I need a connection string. Well, it's not, maybe it's not the cleanest way to do it, but I'm gonna paste my, connect, paste my connection string directly here. But usually you can use a secret server, probably the, the safest place to store your, the, your connection string is Azure uh, App Vault, but for this demo, I'm gonna just paste it here. So I'm gonna go to the Azure portal and find my connection string. So in the left sidebar here, you can click on access keys. And here you have a primary key and the secondary key. We're gonna get this read only connection stream. And I'm gonna paste it here. Also, I need to use feature flags. And finally, I'm gonna use Oh, actually, my use startup should go here. Okay, also I need to um, update my startup class so I can use the feature management services. So in my configure services method, I'm going to add 
services dot add feature So I'm going to import my namespace. Actually, it's the Microsoft dot feature management namespace. And the final step is to plug the Azure app configuration middleware in the configure method. So the last middleware to plug is will be use Azure app configuration. So from a demo here, I have it in the menu in my last bar. And when I click on it, it shows me a picture of the data fish. So actually, this will be my data feature here. And if we get back to the code, we can see the last bar that is the whole entire display. Menus. So if I want to control this feature from Azure App Configuration, I need to add the feature. Add without my name. So So as you can see, my feature is not visible anymore. If I click that, as a portal in my future version. And now I can see that feature. Well, I think if I want to avoid browsing directly to the feature, I need to add. The feature of the pack. So my feature here is not visible, I'm going to try to browse it directly. And my controller shows a HTTP portal for So that's it for today's session, I hope you enjoyed.
Thank you for watching. Bye.